With the release of iOS 11, the Notes app has gained some useful features that are sure to tempt you away from your current Note app. Here are eight of those features. You can now add tables to a note with the tap of a button. The table icon sits just above the keyboard. Select it to add a 2x2 table. Add more rows or columns with a tap on the border of the table to display a button next to a row or column, which then provides the option to add or delete the respective item. New text edit tools have been added to the Notes app in iOS 11. Tap on the text button to reveal the new tools, which include monospace text, the typical text editing tools for lists, bold, italics, etc. A brand new document scanning tool is built directly into iOS 11 Notes app as well, and frankly, it's pretty sweet. Open Notes, then open or create a new note, tap the plus sign, and select Scan Documents. After scanning a document, you can then use the Apple Pencil on an iPad Pro to mark up or sign the document iPad users will be able to highlight text or select a photo and drag it into the Notes app instead of the long-standing copy and paste method. Drag and drop is also available between Notes within the Notes app itself. Instead of the stale paper background the iOS Notes app has had for some time now, iOS 11 adds six new designs. Add these new designs when in a note by tapping the Share button. In the bottom row of the Share sheet, there will be an icon titled Lines and Grids. You can now add notes to Control Center. Force touch to choose between a new note, checklist, photo, or sketch. You can now choose whether a new note is created or if you want to pick up where you left off as the default action by going to the Settings app, Notes, Access Notes from Lock Screen, and selecting your preference. Your list of notes gains new options when you swipe left or right on an individual entry. For example, a swipe to the right will let you pin the note to the top of the list. A swipe to the left will give you the option to lock, move, or delete a note. Finally, if you have an Apple Pencil and an iPad Pro, you no longer have to go through the process of enabling the draw mode by tapping around the screen. Instead, just put the pencil to the blank area in the note and start writing or drawing. For more tips and tricks and other how-tos, be sure to go to cnet.com forward slash how-to.